Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to some more American Truck Simulator. Uh, guys, today we are going to be doing some driving. Would you believe it guys? We're actually going to be driving in a driving simulator game. That is true. We're going to go from, uh, I can't remember what it was actually. Now I've left it a little bit guys, um, so that I can get some feedback on the series about what you guys want to see and what you guys want to see happen. So. On the world map at the moment, I think we've got a pretty short drive, haven't we? Yeah, Oxenard to uh, to Santa Cruz because we haven't actually found Santa Cruz just yet. So we've got a pretty short drive in today's uh, in today's episode. Let me just use my mouse to be able to do this part. Let's go ahead and drive this. Here we go. Now you guys have actually been saying that you prefer. Wow, why have I? Why am I so laggy? The hell? Is that just me? Is that coming through on the thing? I'm gonna have to check this. Hang on a minute, guys. Okay, guys, um, not sure what that was. It seems as if it's fixed now, or it looks as if it's fixed. It looks fine on the top there. So let's go ahead and start driving. Fingers crossed that things will start. And, oh, there we go, that's much better. Much better, good stuff. So yes, um, you guys have been talking about what you would like to see from the series and what you would like to see me talk about. Because of course that's what I used to do in Euro Truck Simulator. And uh, it went down very well of course, did my Euro Truck Sim, about um, you know the current affairs of what's been going on in the world. So there's something that you know ties into my main channel that I would like to talk about today and get people's opinions on, uh, on stuff. Um, when it comes to Adam Johnson, I think everybody knows what Adam Johnson has done by now. Everybody knows what Adam Johnson has done right now, uh, by now. And guys, you see this a lot with, and it's such a shame. You see this a lot with what uh, with what goes on in the in culture nowadays. You see, the thing is that Adam, if nobody does know, I will give a brief description of what happened. Okay, Adam Johnson has been uh, taken to court. He is now in court for the grooming and possible sexual intercourse with uh, a minor, okay? This girl is 15 years old. She was apparently, ad she adored Adam Johnson, wanted, you know, to s get him to sign uh, shirts and stuff like that. And Adam Johnson, being Adam Johnson, decided it was a great idea to go ahead and, uh, uh, and, and, and groom this 15 year old. He's been pulled up on it. I think it, I don't know if it's the, it was the girl that called the police. I don't know who called the police, but uh, it happened. And then Adam Johnson is subsequently getting, um, you know, whatever it is that's going to happen to him in court. So of course, he has also now been sacked by Sunderland. So he no longer plays for Sunderland. And it would surprise me if um, teams would would pick him up and whether or not he would be going back into football. It would surprise me if he went back into football. But there was all this thing about, uh, about um, what was that other guy? I can't remember what it was called. The Welsh guy who got done for um, raping, a, 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 raping a woman. And um, he got sacked from his club and now he can't get a job anywhere because everybody just doesn't want him anywhere near him. So anywhere near them so there is that so I wouldn't be surprised if what happened to uh, whoops we've got to slow down here what happens to Adam Johnson is similar to that my you know apparently what it was is she the, the whole point of it is and I've seen this but you know plenty of times before of people saying oh well she said she was you know she said she was 16 she said she was 18 when actually it turned, why have I just done that when actually it turns out that um, there we go. That they would, you know, and there's no real safeguarding against that. There's nothing that you can do. If if they turn around and say, "Oh, I'm I am, you know, 18," where's the line of which that you turn around and say, "Well, I don't believe you," you know, show me your driver's license. That's a bit silly, you know. So the other thing is, oops, I am way I am speeding like way too much here. The other thing is that. The, the problem is, is that Adam Johnson knew how old this girl was, and that is what the problem is. Adam Johnson knew, Adam Johnson also admitted that he wanted sexual contact with this girl, who was 15 years old, so there's no real, there is no defence against that. Whether or not, you know, he can't argue with it, the proof is in the texts, he can't argue with it. The proof is right there in the texts, guys. 
So we'll see what happens with that going forwards. But in my eyes, um, it would be I, I would surprise me if Adam Johnson um, was picked up by another Premier League club. I, I do believe that. Uh, I'm not sure. I, what do you guys reckon? What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon that Adam Johnson is now going to be, uh, you know, picked up by somebody else? You know, because he's been dropped by Sunderland. Will anybody want to pick him up? And what do you guys think on the whole debacle of it all? What do you think? Because, like I said, all the proof is right there in the messages that were sent, you know, from him to her. What I don't understand is, uh, you know, what I don't know is who called the police on this. Was it was it the girl? Did the girl think, oh, wait up a minute? It's going a bit too far, this is. Adam Johnson's going a bit too far and decided to go ahead and do that. Because this is what can happen. And I'm not saying that this is a thing, okay? This is what can happen. There are, unfortunately, some women out there, and I'm not saying that this is the case. I am not saying that this is the case at all, guys. So please, you know, don't feel that, uh, that I'm being unfair here. But there is, there are some women who will legitimately go out of their own way to call a footballer I mean Adam Johnson should, let me just make it purely you know and honestly open here Adam Johnson should damn well know not to go there okay especially when he knew her age there's no excuse for that absolutely no excuse there is however some women who say that they're 18 and stop I'm not, I'm not talking about this particular girl in, in uh, you know but there are some women who do that and then they turn out to be 15 or something and then they go to the police, they call the police and then they do that. But they do it on purpose so that they can maybe get some, uh, I don't know what the hell they get out of it. I don't know what the hell they get out of it. But there are, unfortunately, some girls who do that sort of thing. It's like, I don't understand why women would um, hang around in areas where footballers are. Okay? Like you know, wags of what the term is wags, I don't get I mean, there are women who legitimately do go to places only because um, I'm going right, I'm okay because footballers go into these particular areas and they're just li they're literally on the game for a footballer and that's it you know if you're not a footballer they don't want to know and they just you know they move on or whatever it is but when they find a footballer they just latch onto them they latch onto them i don't know what it is guys i don't know what it is uh, and i'm sure that there are you know couples out there um that you know are married to footballers and you know they're exactly you know they'd love at first sight and all that bullshit but sometimes i'm afraid that that just isn't the case so the other thing is guys what i was really goddamn confused about this Adam Johnson trial was the girlfriend, Adam Johnson's girlfriend, literally, he's just had a baby and he couldn't help himself okay, he couldn't help himself, but the girlfriend decided it was a good idea to go ahead and stay with him at the trial I mean the, you know, they, they've got a few days in now and she's not been there since Thank God, because literally she deserves better. Let's be quite honest about this. But uh, why the hell she went with him in the first place, it is beyond me. It is really, really beyond me. What did Andrew Johnson say to that, to that poor, poor girl to make her go with him? It's humiliating. Imagine how humiliating that would actually be. It would be so goddamn humiliating. And I feel for that girl. Just had a baby with Adam Johnson and now she has this to deal with. Absolutely, just it's, just it's a disgrace. It really is an absolute disgrace. It really is. Right, we're nearly here, guys. But yeah, let me know in the comments section, guys, on what you think about this uh, this culture that's around a bit about uh, you know footballers. The thing is, and I know what's going to happen is that Adam Johnson will get away with a lenient uh, a lenient fine or whatever the hell that they're doing. Look, you're going to have to move, mate, because I need in. Thank you. I'm turning left. I know Adam Johnson will get away with it, and most footballers unfortunately do. Um, apart from, well, I can't remember what his bloody name was. That Welsh guy. There we go. Right, it's time for some ledge park. Oh, no, it's not, actually. We've still got a little ways to go, it seems. We've got a little bit to go up here. We found Santa Cruz, which is great. We found Santa Cruz. I love this game. 
the graphics are, are fantastic. The, uh, they've done a really, really good job on the horizons, on the surrounding countryside, I'll say countryside, desert. They've done a really, really good fucking job. They really have. I absolutely love it. So it's time. Oh, it's a mining company, is it? Okay. I don't even know what I've forgotten what I'm bringing. Oh, man, even the sound changed. Oh, that is great. Right. Let's see. Where do you need it? Are you kidding? Are you for real? You absolutely for real. Okay, this way it says. Well, let's go. Do we need to uh, Weybridge? Is that good enough for you? Let's go. Okay, so where is this parking spot? There's a guy with his arms crossed. He's waiting for me to uh, to unload. Look, there he is. He's waiting for me to unload. I don't even know where I'm meant to unload. Where the hell is the thing? Oh, is it up there? It is, look. Okay, this ain't too bad, actually. Because, look, we've got, a, we've got a little route we can go. We've got a little route we can go. This isn't too bad. Whoa. I say we've got a little route. Look, I'm stuck. <laughs> Can I see it? I can. Okay, let's go. Straighten up, boy. Let's parking going on here. That's it. Swing it. Swing it. Swing it. I'm going to crash into the fence. Are you kidding me? That wasn't in. No, that was not in. Cargo, it, it apparently is in. Well, I'm going to take that, guys. That was a nice, quick uh, ledge park right there. Look at that. Skill rank. Oh, man, we got the high-value cargo bonus. Only $71. So some people have been saying also, get up to level 5 or 6, then get a bank loan, then get your own truck, because you will earn a lot more money doing that. Yes, I know you can do that, okay? The only problem is... The, the repayments on the bank loan are so steep. They're really, really steep, and we'll, I'll show you. Let's go ahead and continue that, which is brilliant. Um, bank. So if we were to get a loan, look at that. $1,814 a day. So we're practically losing a fourth, a quarter, which is <laughs> a quarter of our pay from what we're delivering. A day, you know, if we do, if we do a couple of deliveries a day, it's not too bad. But if we do one delivery in a day, this isn't good. <laughs> Having 1,814 going out a day. The other thing is, I could buy that. I could also hire somebody and get them to go out in the new truck while I still do quick jobs. That's another option. Uh, but again, let me know if you want me to talk about anything at all, guys. In the comments section below, that is the best place to go ahead and do it. Let's go and see what we can do for next episode. I will do that, but I will get to level 5 and stuff first. I want to be able to do some stuff. So, okay. Um, job market. We're going to do, do, do more quick jobs, of course. So we want to go to Huron. Let me click on Huron. Well, actually, no. Santa Cruz. Can we go from Santa Cruz to Huron? Is that a thing? No. Okay, maybe not then. Can we go from Oxnard to Huron? That's the question. No, we cannot go from Oxnard to Curon. Bakersfield to Curon. It really looks as if I can't find Curon, guys. It's not letting me. What about this one? Los Angeles to Curon. Maybe? No, there's one to Carlsbad. I want to go to Huron, not Curon. We could go up to Fresno, I suppose. Santa Cruz to Fresno. Maybe come back down. Oh, Santa Cruz to Santa Cruz. 263. Literally, we've just got to go across the uh, the bridge. We'll just go out, and then we're there. <laughs> $263. That average is out at $10.69 a mile. That's a really quick fucking job, though, that one is. 
The thing is that I wanted to open Huron next. Huron. Is there anything at all going to Huron, please? Basto, Stockton, Fresno. There was a Fresno there. Is there no Huron? It looks as if I might have to skip Huron, guys. I don't want to do that. That's not what the, the whole series is about. Yeah, it looks as if I'm going to have to skip Huron, guys. Can we go from Santa Cruz to uh, to Fresno? We can, can we? I saw that. No. Santa Cruz to Fresno doesn't exist. Um, maybe from Bakersfield to Fresno? Hey, Bakersfield to Fresno. 1,500, though. That's pittance. That is absolutely pittance. Why is it so cheap? Is it this side of Fresno? It's still a fair while. I mean, it only averages out, like I say, at $10.44 a mile. Whereas you're looking at this look, $13.39 a mile. Bakersfield to Oakland. Oh, that's miles of her. I don't want to do that one. Well, I want to... Well, we'll be doing them in the future, but I want to open up places. So Fresno is going to be next. We're going to take our Peter build. Peter built. And uh, we're going to go to Fresno. I'm going to take that job, guys. But that's not going to be, of course, until next episode. Make sure that you put in the description below what you would like to see me talk about. And I will talk about that, guys. So, until next time, I've been the Tough Man. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.